Hello, it's Rachel Lawson here again from the Drupal Association. Uh, in this video, this chat, we are going to speak with Vishal Chowdhury, who has been this year's 2020s Google Summer of Code student. Hello, Vishal. How are you? Yeah, I'm great. Thanks. Oh, that's good. So we have a few other people on the on the call and we'll, we'll all get a chance to introduce ourselves in a moment. But first of all, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where are you at the moment? Yeah, so I'm in New Delhi, India. Uh, I, I'm uh, currently a programming enthusiast. Uh, so from high school about uh, building projects and basic sites and uh, looking forward in Drupal community. Oh, wow, that's great. So, so you were at college, uh, as you say, high school, and you wanted to take part in Google Summer of Code. So how did you hear about that? Yeah, so uh, I think this program is pretty uh, popular or famous amongst the uh, youth, uh, especially under engineering background. So uh, I heard it from my colleagues. Oh, that's great. Cool. Okay, so what can you tell us about the program? What does Google Summer of Code do? Yeah, so it's a, a three-month internship uh, student intern program uh, in which uh, uh, we get to work with our professional or experienced personnel in the field and I'll create some projects and help in the community. Oh, that's great. So you're sat down, you're at college and you're looking at this Google Summer of Code and you look down through a long, long list of projects yeah. and you chose Drupal to work with Drupal. Do you want to tell us kind of why? <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, like uh, initially in initial phase, uh, you apply for almost uh, uh, look for every community and many organizations in the GSOC. Uh, and I think the huge community of Drupal and professionals from different areas in available for Drupal community. Uh, I really like to working here. And I mean, I like the concept of uh, CMS and for it. Ah, that's great. Yeah, I, I think I think the CMSs and everything is kind of interesting to us all here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you you apply and you have to fill in a proposal and things like this, and uh, and so on. Yeah, and did you get help along the way with with the proposal? I mean, yeah, uh, like uh, when you discuss the projects and ask the integrities about the things what mentor would be looking for the proposal in the community. Okay, cool. So you, you got some help along the way and you were assigned a, a mentor for the project you were getting involved in, yes? Yes, yeah. yeah. Sean McCabe. Yeah, so Sean McCabe. So Sean, hello Sean. You're the hello. CTO at Acromedia, is that correct? That is correct, yes. Good. That, in that, that, that's good because that means that you've kept your Drupal.org profile up to date. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hasn't been replaced yet. Yeah. <laughs> it, or it means my title hasn't changed in a long time. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is great. So you chose, you were Vishal's mentor for the summer, which is fantastic. Yeah. Now, being a mentor for a Google Summer of Code student, it's actually a lot of work. It's a lot of contribution. So... <laughs> I, again, uh, why? Uh, <laughs> I, it was actually uh, someone else at our company mentioned that, um, I, I mean, I was aware of the Summer of Code program, but he said uh, that Drupal uh, actually has a lot of spots every year and usually they don't actually all get filled. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, we could, you know, I'm sure I could come up with a few, uh, you know, projects and things like that, that we could propose for people to do. And then if someone's going to be, you know, sponsored by Google to work basically the whole summer, I'm sure we could come up with enough time to, you know, mentor them uh, and stuff like that. Um, that said, I did round up a couple other people who I work with to help out with the mentoring. Um, Vishal programmed yeah. a little bit faster uh, than <laughs> I could keep up with. Um, uh, so yeah, but that was easy. I could just bully other people into 
um, helping out uh, doing the reviews and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was basically to get, you know, th three months of, of straight contrib time. You know, we had lots of things sort of on our wish list uh, to do at Acro of like, hey, these things would be great for the community, but they just, you know, haven't quite made it from a business perspective or whatever. And so it was like, okay, well, what could we, um, you know, get done that would be great there? So we proposed a couple and um, uh, yeah, that's sort of how it went. Oh, that's marvelous. So obviously, Vishal, I'm sure, will have learned lots of things from yourself. But yeah. do you think that there are things that you learned whilst being a mentor? Uh, that I overestimated uh, how quickly I'd be able to review things? Um, <laughs> that doesn't sound familiar at all. <laughs> a, programmer has, a programmer has never overestimated anything that they've done or any skill set that they I, have. I've had a patch open on my on my browser for about two weeks now and I keep saying to the team oh yeah no I'll get to that I'll get to that tomorrow I, I, I know I'll get to it soon. Yeah as, as like a manager it's it's super helpful too because you're like yeah if I had like a whole day I could review that you're like yeah in this mythical future time and when I have a whole day yes. to look at something or whatever right I'm sure it will come up soon. Um, I learned a fair bit about um, you know, someone coming straight into Drupal, uh, you know, and straight into commerce. We actually started with a fairly complex uh, project. Um, Shaw actually onboarded super well to Drupal because it's known for its sort of rough learning curve, um, especially to get all the way into to commerce and not even really easy parts of commerce, but we're talking, wow, you know, yeah. payment, fraud yeah. and stuff like that or whatever it was, we were really in the weeds, um, but that worked. Uh, quite well. And then it was learning actually quite a bit about the Summer of Code project as well. I I didn't realize we had so many slots available. Um, and it was actually unfortunate. We couldn't fill them all. We had we had tons of applications, but we had very few good uh, applications. There was lots of ones that were essentially spam. People had just clearly tried to apply to every single thing that they could see. Um, and Michelle was one of the only people who properly crafted a proposal, talked to people ahead of time, got himself involved in the community. That was a big thing um, that I was even uh, being mentored a little bit on how to be a mentor by a couple people. Um, and to check that people were involved in the community and, and followed some of the recommendations in the proposal. They, you know, they tried to go make patches ahead of time and things like that. Um, and we didn't have uh, a lot of that because it didn't seem that people had really even read that. So um, <laughs> that was kind of unfortunate, but I mean, it did make uh, Vishal's application stand out. We only had, um, I think I reviewed two applications that were actually really good applications or whatever. So. Um, be nice to get more of those <laughs> in the future. I mean, you get oh. you get covered for uh, you know a whole summer job of programming on open source. I mean, I wish I could get paid the whole summer to work just on open source, <laughs> and not, do, not do not do management things and stuff like that or whatever. So it, it sounds like a pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Mm -hmm. it's um. It's funny because I was going to ask a question there around what what do you think we can do in terms of more resources that would attract more mentors? But it sounds like what you're saying is making sure maybe a resources could be around how we help students really understand what we're going to be looking for when we're selecting people would be a, a big help. Yeah? Yeah, because we had an okay... Uh we had, I think the mentors put through 10 different projects or something like that, I think, of, of yeah. proposals available. Um, and, and mine was the only one who actually just got decent applicants, really, um, which is uh, why it came through. So um, that, that was more the problem than the, than the lack of mentors. I mean, Drupal has such a community oh, yeah. of mentors and mentorship anyways. I, you know, uh, that part was pretty easy. Um, but it's, yeah, getting uh, good applicants. We tried to do a little bit of local uh, promotion um, within Canada, but it was kind of at the last minute because we we got in a little late sort of to the um, program. Um, but that would definitely think it seemed like it was underutilized. I mean, ultimately, we could have gotten more spots and we didn't. So it seems like, you know, a big waste to, to lose out on all this free open source funding or whatever, right? <laughs> so Absolutely. Yeah. So just jumping back to Vishal for a little minute, because uh, it's 
it's all about you at the end of the day. Uh, it's the end of the summer now. Um, yes. And you have been working on a new version of a key Drupal module, Commerce Fraud. Um, yes. Can you tell us about it? What, what does it do? Yeah. So the project mainly aims at uh, checking the orders, uh, up the, 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 how the fraudulent and how they work, and basically uh, distinguishing the exceptional orders which are not up to the mark for the e-commerce and using different rules and mostly with entities and plugins so that the uh, order details can be extracted and shown to the uh, user and admin how orders are functioning and what quality of orders are there. Wonderful. Yeah. So that's pretty much ready for use now, is that? We tagged a beta at basically about the end of Vishal's um, term, uh, which I would say is a very usable beta too. It's one you could use for uh, in production or something. It's mostly a beta just because it hasn't got much use yet. And so it seemed a little optimistic to tag a 1.0. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, I've, that's I've fantastic. Got some client sites. Yeah, I've got some client <laughs> sites that would be a good candidate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, it's funny actually because what I was going to do is bring in Ryan Zarama here, CEO of Centaro and co-founder of Drupal Commerce. Hi, hi, Ryan. Hey, hey Rachel. So, so Drupal Commerce, how should we say, it's been a big part of your life? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been the biggest part of my life aside from, I guess, my, my marriage and my family. Then there's Drupal Commerce. <laughs> That's my yeah. my fourth child you know seem to be fifth child uh, we're, we're about to have one more but uh, yeah um yeah and and i think that this this module is really exciting because it's it's a frequent conversation particularly with larger merchants i mean there's about fifty thousand merchants running on drupal commerce right now processing over two billion dollars in annual transactions based on our estimates our payment partners estimates and once you get above you know even a small amount of, of, of sales, I mean, let's say a million dollars a year, and you kind of hit that, that first tier, oh, I'm a legit e-commerce business, um, your, your website becomes an attack vector for fraudulent activity all over the world. Um, it, it could be as simple as somebody just using your checkout form to try to test a whole batch of stolen credit cards to find you know, a, a functioning credit card um, to, as this module detects, mm -hmm. You know, fraudulent orders placed in other parts of the world or using stolen credentials and shipping to a different country. You know, the, the, the rules that, that Vishal has included in this module would, would really help flag those orders to a customer service representative or a merchant so that they could really scrutinize it before they ship the product out. Um, and I, like, I, I legit have had just had this conversation with the merchant recently who's in Switzerland. They use Braintree for payment. And they were asked, like they were being tasked by Braintree to prove that their e-commerce platform had fraud control on it. And so like, I, having found out now about Vishal's work, <laughs> guess what website that module's going on? <laughs> um, and uh, Maybe, you know, I, I also, I'm oh, sorry, I, go ahead, Rachel. I was just gonna say, because literally when I gave you a message, uh, I, I sent you a message on Slack talking about, maybe you'd like to come along to this conversation and said that Vishal had been working on this commerce fraud thing, you were like, oh, well, that's a strange coincidence. Hi. I could really <laughs> use that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we, we, you know, we, we partnered with PayPal for the development of the Drupal Commerce platform, and they connected us to um, an analyst firm who wanted to learn more about Drupal Commerce as a platform, and half the questions were, were about, okay, well, what do you do to prevent fraud? What do you do to support merchants? And again, this is, this is kind of PayPal's angle, right? Like PayPal is very oh, yeah. merchant and, and fraud, uh, merchant friendly with respect to fraudulent transactions. Um, and, and so it was, it was a really good conversation. And, and I'm sitting here on this call thinking, oh, this is kind of identifying some gaps we long known we had in the platform and we should probably figure out how to fill. And lo and behold, you know, Vishal and the Acro Media are over here filling it. And, and I think um, this is like one of the greatest things about the Drupal community, being, being an open source, is that you, you end up with these partner and friendly companies like Acro Media 
who just take it upon themselves to have a vested interest in the platform and then are, then are willing to find opportunities just like this to increase the capabilities of the platform. And so like, I, I had no clue what was happening, right? But over here is Sean and his team working with Vishal to now fill this gap that we've had. And, and, and as you said, like, it's, it's really important because the, the reputation of Drupal as an e-commerce platform is, is impacted by gross fraud, you know? So it's, it's great, it's a great story. Uh, I hope you're very pleased uh, with the work, Vishal, because it's obviously been very important. It's been key to the project, which is which is great. Looking back at the looking back through the summer, uh, through applying, through working with all the people you've worked with, is there anything that you wish you knew before you started? I mean, uh, I think like uh, majorly understanding how Drupal works and. Uh, the basic concept, uh, Drupal, understanding more about Drupal co core would be much better. Would be yeah. Cool. And you have not been the first Drupal, uh, blah, the first Google Summer of Code student that we've had. You won't be the last. I'm sure we'll have many more in the future. What would you tell the next student who's about to join the program? What would you tell them now that you've learned? I mean, it's a golden opportunity for anyone like me. And uh, as you said, like, it's a great summer, uh, even with the lockdown and coronavirus. Like, it's, it's a great opportunity, uh, great community and practical experience, which I don't think I will find anywhere, in, in, even in my college. Well, that's fantastic. So I hope that your career is is boosted and I hope that uh, all of the people out there that are looking for people who are really key to the Drupal project get to hear about where you, where, where will they be able to find you to come and say, here, come work with us. Um, yeah. Like I'm available on LinkedIn and GitHub mainly. Uh, excellent. Okay. <laughs> and I don't know if Sean or Ryan have anything, any tips for Vichal's career in the future or anything else they want to add? Um, like if someone wants to hire him, they should hire him before I have a spot to hire him. Um, <laughs> we haven't hired him because uh, we have to hire some Canadians for a specific project. Unfortunately, people located in Canada, um, which is about the only thing preventing that right now. So, um, <laughs> yeah, well, again, yeah, it's and, good. And I, uh, I actually met my partner in Centara, Boyan Jovanovic, through the Google Summer of Code program in 2010. I was his mentor wow. and he worked on the Drupal Commerce affiliate module. And, you know, that, that started a friendship where eventually he came to work for Commerce Guys. And in 2016, when we separated from platform to, to form what is now Centauro, mm -hmm. um, you know, all of that came as a result of him just diving in. So, you know, my, my advice to Vishal and whomever else is interested in the program is, like, if you had fun, like, dive in. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a lot more areas to contribute to and, and plenty of opportunity in the Drupal community, not just to make an impact on the project, but also on your own life and career. And that's been true for me and for countless others. Well, that's wonderful. Well, as I say, thank you, Vishal. You've been fantastic. You've done some work. And I hope that we get to work with you or the project gets to work with you many times in the future and good luck for that future as well because i think you deserve it so thank you yeah sure. thank you everyone thanks. <laughs> thanks and thank you everyone for joining this i hope everyone finds it interesting thank you